Hey, my friends. So I am making this video. It's very uh, impromptu, last minute for my kitchen. And just because many of you have been reaching out asking me, hey, we don't have Spanish materials. Well, yes, you do. And I'm going to show you a really fast, quick video on how to access it. Now, if you are with San Benito, um, you have what we call Mac and Via, right? Now, how can you access Mac and Via? You can actually access it straight from Clever. Okay, you go to your Clever and it should be there. Um, if not, then ask your librarian, but they will give you your password and login. So it looks like this. Real quick, I'm going to log in using a login and password. Give me one second. Now, if you're on Clever, you won't even have to put in your password and login. Automatically, you go in. Okay, it's only if you don't have a login and password that you have to reach out to um, your librarian. And if not, I guess you can contact Region 1 and they should have the info. So once you're here, this is what it looks like. On the left side, you're going to see all resources. You're going to go to instructional resources. And once you go here, you're going to see all the different databases. So, for example, this school district has this campus has 45. OK, now all of these are available to you. All of these you see here. This is in Spanish in Espanol, but I'm going to show you my favorite ones. So this is Britannica Escolar and Britannica Moderna. These are all 100 percent in Spanish. Everything you search here is going to be Spanish. But if you go to, um, we keep going, I'm going to be searching for Britannica School. Let me see, where is it? Here it is. If I open it, this is going to be in English, right? So you can technically use this for your entire class. And depending what you're teaching, so if you're elementary, you click on elementary. What is it that you're teaching your students? What are you talking about today? Maybe today we're talking about the weather. So I'm going to go up here to where it says weather. And then I'm going to click on, you know, it's going to give you all the different topics up here. It also at the very top gives you reading levels one, two, three. I'm going to click on weather. Now, here's the thing. This is you might be thinking, OK, Dr. E.T., that's great. Where do we get to the Spanish? I need my Spanish information. OK, so I'm going to click on I'm going to go back over here because this one's not giving me um, what I need. Not a problem. I'm going to go back. I'm doing this again. Elementary. I'm going to search again. I'm going to go planets. So notice here I click on planets. And here it gives me all the information on planets. Now this is what I was missing on the other one. You see right here to the right, you see a star. That means it's my favorite. This one I could print. I can email it to myself. By the way, your students have access to this. I can click on the little globe and translate it. And here I can go to Spanish. And this stuff, Spanish. And there you go. Everything you have in English is now in Spanish. So you can find anything you want. You can go on Britannica School or you can go on the Spanish Britannicas and just search that way. I, as a teacher, I just like to go to the English one. That way, uh, my English speakers could see it um, as well, the same thing. And then I just translate it to Spanish. And you can translate it to any language. I hope this helps. Um, abrazos a mis amigos en San Benito.